Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's lesson is going to be the Linear Regression Channel, a tool that I use, and it's a simple tool for beginners to follow, and it'll give you your supports, your pivot points, and your resistances. And again, I want to remind everybody, ring that bell, subscribe to that YouTube channel for future updates. Vegas and I do a video every Sunday, and also we do updates on the weekdays on our picks and where we think they're going to go. And we're going to go ahead and pull up the website right now. This is the Twitter page. Please follow that. Hit that follow button. And also we have, back on our website, we have our stock twits, mine, Vegas's. We have Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube channel. If you ever want, we have tools up on the website that you can use. And also we have a store where you can buy some of our merchandise that we also have. And we're going to go ahead and go straight to the stock and we're going to talk about the linear regression channel. You know, it gives you more objective potential buy and sell signals based on price volatility. It consists of these parts. A linear regression line is a straight line that best fits all prices between the starting price point and the ending price point. In other words, it gives you your supports. It gives you a pivot point to where the stock decides if it wants to go up. That pivot point can also create a resistance or a support if it breaks it. And then it gives you the final resistance, which is at the top. And this is CRWD. And you can see how it hit that bottom of that regression line, went up to the top of it and pulled back and hit that pivot point as a support system. They had a lower, had a little higher high than last time, but it pulled back and it didn't run up against that middle pivot point, pulled back and hit support. It done that three different times in a five day period. And you had sell signals also after it broke that resistance. I like to watch the tape, time in sales in the level two, which indicates maybe the stock's getting a little weaker. Uh, pause in the tape to me sometimes tells me that the buyers are exhausted and then sellers might come in and I always like to get out in the heat of the moment. So let's go ahead and go to the stock that I traded on Friday that I found very interesting. It's been one that I've been following all the way from $50 all the way to 175, and that's called ROKU. Now ROKU had some real nice, and we're gonna go to the daily one minute. I use this time frame when I'm scalping because then I can recognize candle patterns. Kind of tells me where the stock's gonna go. Well, right out at the gate on Monday morning, we started having lower highs, which gave me kind of a, a, a little pennant flag here that maybe we we're going to sell off and I always like to wait that first 15 maybe a half hour before I even think about getting into a trade because I'm not a bag holder and I don't like holding these things overnight unless I'm very positive that we're in a bullish trend now you see the linear channel isn't a downward slide on the daily which indicated to me that we were going to have a little bit of sell-off. And we created a triple bottom down here on the bottom of that linear channel. And that triple bottom was a consolidated area, which landed, happened for quite a bit of time, actually. Let me see the time limit here. We were at 9.39 when it started, and it went all the way to 11.06. So I was watching this trade and playing others, too, at the time. and, and then I got a, a signal that we broke past that resistance. That, so, but I kept watching this, and I knew by watching the time in sales that we were getting into some pretty good buys right in here. And I went ahead and continued and got in the trade. I bought an option on this stock, and it went over almost 100% and pulled back. But this is how it went. It hit that triple bottom. That was an indicator. That was what I was looking for. A period of consolidation and it was a buying opportunity and it run up and it hit that mini, mini, that pivot point that inner line of that linear channel and broke past it past resistance then it started to consolidate and it pulled back and hit that support level here at the pivot point so that was the time to either I was didn't sell it I held it over the weekend I think we're in an upward momentum to go higher on this trade so I went ahead and hold it. I didn't go in very big. I bought a couple of contracts, that's all, but I was up almost 170 some, 100, almost up 180. Well, I was up at one time 200 and something on this trade. 
So every bit of a good 100% move. And then she went ahead and held that middle line here on that linear channel, which created a support. At one time, it was a resistance when it was down here at the bottom. So these are indicators to buy, maybe to maybe sell. If it breaks past that linear channel, you want to try to bring it up to the top line here. But she went ahead and consolidated at a double top, which gave me another sign of weakness. But I went ahead and held the trade, and it pulled back, and then it consolidated the rest of the day. So after hours, we're here at 106.07. And I'm going to go to the five day right now. And I'm going to show you a couple things on the five day chart. And if, let's pull up the year. You can see that we, we had a low down here at 26 something. And she went ahead and bounced up off that little pivot point. But I usually don't look at the linear channel in this aggression. I like to bring it to the five day. We're going to do the five day. And it gave you a bunch of other opportunities on the five day, five minute. As you see, these are sell signals with a triple top. Each triple top got a little bit lower, which was a sign of weakness to me, but also held the bottom of the, of the linear channel, which was a buy signal. So she went ahead Thursday, and she was a buy signal. The tape looked real good. You could tell that it was really moving, and that a lot of people were watching this and eyeing this trade. And it ran all the way up to the top of that channel, and that would have been your sell signal right there. Double top. And then we had the triple top on that, and then she failed Friday. And this was a real hard sell-off. I really like these kind of sell-offs. And then she went ahead and bounced up and hit that linear resistance right there. So I think basically, like I said, we're going to do a recap on what this thing does. The definition of it, CRWD. We'll go back to the original one here. A linear regression channel gives you the objective a potential buy and sell signals based on price volatility. That's why I like to use that time and sales tape and also use the level two. And I'm always looking at the news. You know, um, I heard Icon was kind of interested in Roku. So that gave it a real bullish pattern on Thursday and it started to run up. The linear regression line is a straight line that best fits the prices between a starting price point and the ending price point, which means, in other words, it's a determination to get in the trade for a buy signal. We hit it three times here and a sell signal, which we, we never did go up to the top of that, which was a little sign of weakness. Then when we had this here, you know, you could have got out a pretty good profit right there from what 55 all the way to 63 in three days but running on this pivot point you could have got out at 60 so that's still a five dollar trade so we're bullish on crwd too and that concludes the lesson of the linear regression channel i hope you got something out of this if you did hit that like button also please subscribe to that youtube channel and follow us and we do have a chat uh on discord if you'd like to join it we offer a free week trial weekly trial and we're both well, we, we kind of swing trade in there we we scalp and we also do options and i just want to wish everybody great future in trading and if you ever need any help just follow us on uh, twitter and ask us questions when we post ideas vegas posts a lot of ideas on um stock twits and we really like for you to subscribe on that. And we wish you the best. And this is I Love Stocks.